Christmas. It is December the 25th. There's a lovely sunrise coming up. I don't know if you can see that there on the screen as the sun pokes its head over the horizon. You can see the reflection there on the water. I always have a session on Christmas morning, just a short one, just one hour, that's all. And I've been doing that for probably the last 10 years, maybe. I didn't do it for most of my adult life because I've got two girls and when they were at home, it's all about them, isn't it? They're up early opening their presents and it's a very, very different day. But then as they get older, they're in their uh, 20s and 30s now. They've left home, they've been gone a long time. They've got their own families. Now I get up on the canal, have a short session back home, church, just an hour on a Christmas morning and then got the rest of the day free. I always think when it comes to fishing on Christmas day, now I, I don't go on forums, I used to years ago, and there used to be people who, uh, anglers who used to go on massive rants. What a sad life you've got fishing on a Christmas day or whatever it was. And I used to read it and I used to think to myself, it's up to people to do what they want to do. So if you're out or someone's out fishing, you don't actually know the circumstances behind that person's life, do you? That person could be on his own. He could have lost his wife. He could have lost his family in the most horrible of circumstances, which you don't know about. And fishing might be the thing that keeps him together. So when you see someone doing something like fishing on a Christmas morning, you think, what a sad life. However, you don't know what's going on behind that person's exterior deal. What you see is not always a reflection of what's actually going on inside. They might be out fishing, but it might be, as I say, keeping them together. Now with me, it's certainly not keeping me together. I'm fishing because I actually enjoy getting out and about. And I'm a great believer in live and let live. And as long as you're not bothering anyone else and you don't encroach on other people's territory, then as far as I'm concerned, that's fine. I know someone, I haven't seen him for a long time, our, our paths have gone different ways, but I know someone who plays golf every day of the year. He likes to get a session in on his local golf course at least, at least once in a, in a, in a day. And for some people, that would be like, what a, what a bad thing to do, what, a, what an obsessive thing to do. Do you know what? It's got nothing to do with anyone else, has it? What he does. And for me, well, live and let live. As long as you don't play golf in my back garden four o'clock in the morning, I don't care really what people do. So for me, as an angler, I want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas and my Christmas theme for this particular video is, as you've already guessed it, live and let live. If you want to go fishing, go fishing. If you don't, don't. Anyway, I'll tell you what, it is very, very cold today. The ice along the towpath where, where the water forms in the, in the dips, it's not the sort of ice where you tread on it and then it breaks. It's absolutely solid. And, and there is ice on some of the canal as well. So it will be a, a difficult hour in terms of trying to tempt a fish. However, I'm a great believer that as long as your bait's in the water, you've got a chance. I just had the tiniest of taps on the end of the rod. Didn't develop, but that in itself is something to get encouraged about. The rod rings are frozen so I'm having to breathe on them, hot air, and take the ice off before I can cast out. Very, very cold, but the fish are out there, and I know I'm in the right place. I'm fishing a boat channel. I put a, just a small amount of brown crumb and a few maggots out there. You don't want to overfeed them, do you, at all? But you want to stimulate them. You want to try and encourage them to have a Christmas morning snack. It's fairly quiet out here as well, as far as the humans are concerned. Although 
there's the usual joggers, cyclists, ramblers and walkers like me enjoying the great outdoors before they get on with the rest of Christmas Day. I'm back home now. I've just, <laughs> I've just knocked that with my head. That's why it's, uh, it's moving. I didn't catch anything. I did have another tap actually, but it didn't develop. However, I did feel that if I'd have been able to stay longer, I would actually have got something on the bank. But I got my fishing session in, didn't I? That was the important thing. Anyway, I'm going to have a shower now. Here I budge up the corner there. We inherited that one. So that's a pet that we didn't actually choose ourselves, but we inherited it. Still great though. Still love the little budgie chuntering away in the corner of the room there. Anyway, have a shower and go to, just had a text message there. I've had a, have a shower and off to church. Enjoy the rest of the day and to anyone who speaks Welsh, mine oyr ethiw ond na dolic lawen a bloithin nuetar.